Is it just me or is this thing blurry? I don't know what it is. Who knows? Let me tell you what happened this morning. I went to the um, store. Yeah, I just like think that I should be put on payroll there at the grocery store. But I had to go to the grocery store this morning um, because there's a couple things, a couple recipes I want to make for you today. I stopped at McDonald's to um, get me a coffee. I love to stop and get coffee. I love McDonald's coffee. And the lady in front of me paid for my order. I thought that was absolutely amazing. It made my day. Um, it was a blessing. You know, if you can be a blessing in somebody's life today, you need to do it. You need to do it. It is, and it, it, it doesn't take much to be a blessing in somebody's life. Trust me, you will be blessed tenfold for being a blessing to someone else. It's true. It's true. Plus, it makes you feel good when you're a blessing to somebody else. When you do something nice and you do something kind for somebody, to me, it makes me feel good inside. It really does. Anyway, um, today we're going to do two recipes. I think we're going to do two recipes. I might do two recipes. I know I want to do two recipes, so I guess it depends on how the day goes. But I want to make um, I want to make a um, strawberry poke cake with the um, strawberry crumb um, type drizzle over top of it. You know, like you get on those little um, those little strawberry strawberry crunch ice creams. Uh, I want to do that today. I want to share that with you today. And I'm also wanting to do something in the crock pot. I want something comforting. And we're going to do hamburger soup. I know what you're thinking. What is hamburger soup? Um, but to be honest with you, hamburger soup is just a little fancy term for, it's just a fancy term for vegetable soup. That's it. That's it. It is a um, crock pot vegetable crock pot hamburger soup. You can make vegetable soup with any type of meat you want to use. You can use uh, chicken, make a chicken vegetable, um, any type of beef, any type of beef you use, you can make um, mix excellent vegetable soup. But today we're using ground beef, so we're going to, we're calling it hamburger soup. That's, that's what, um, that's what I called it back in the day. All right, in my little pan here, let me show you real quick. I bought, um, this uh, big pack of hamburger. When I buy um, hamburger or ground chuck, I rarely, rarely just buy, my hand is sticky from something. I rarely just buy what I need for that um, recipe. I always buy 99.9% .9 of the time, um, I always buy the big pack because you can usually get it, um, well, you can always get it at a better deal, you know, if you buy in bulk. And what I do, I just wrap the rest of my um, ground checkup that I don't use. And I can get, you know, three or four meals out of this, if not more. So, especially since it's just me and the husband home. Uh, now, okay, we're going to use, I wrap it in foil. Let me clarify that. I wrap it um, nicely in foil, and then I usually label it. So that way I know um, what it is. I hate when it's like a surprise of what it is. Like, what is that? I'm going to add my um, ground beef to the pan here. And I'm, I'm going to fry this up first. I, I've never put it in roll. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, but we're going to get this uh, fried up. And then we're going to add also some onions and a little bit of garlic to this as well. All right, let's get that broke up. I just cooked all the way through just right there, didn't it? Let's get that broke up. Got my um, other hamburger ground chuck uh, wrapped in, in the freezer. Let's go ahead and add our onions and our garlic. We're going to let this finish um, cooking, com you know, pretty much completely. And then we're going to drain the grease off of it. And then we're just going to add it to our crock pot. You know, what I, what I love most about um, crock pot soups is that Pretty much just dump everything in it. And you're good to go, right? And you are good to go. Drained and then my little crock there. We're gonna add two cans of petite diced tomatoes. Super easy. Now, I'm not a big fan of celery um, in soup. I'm just not a big fan of celery at all. This is beef um, stock. 
We're going to use this whole container, and we may end up adding some water and some beef uh, bouillon as well. It depends on how much this is. But if you're a fan of celery and vegetable soup, I'm just, I'm just not a fan of celery. I'm sorry. I'm just not. I'm going to add um, a couple beef cubes, and then I'm going to add, add some water in this too. You know what? Let's go ahead and get our veggies in it so I can see exactly how much liquid I need. So we're going to add our potatoes and carrots that I cut up. I am notorious. I'm not kidding you. I probably overdone it with carrots and potatoes here. I'm notorious for like cutting too many um, veggies. Let's see, may got left. Because I'm also going to put, um, I bought a bag of the uh, mixed vegetables to put in as well. You know what? I'm going to stir that up and see. I think that's going to be plenty. Maybe a couple more. Let me get my mixed veggies in there. I have been like really, really craving um, some vegetable soup lately. So this is going to be so good. You put as many um, or as little as you like. I mean, you know, it's all up to you. It's up to you what goes in yours, how much you put in it. It's totally up to you. But I'm going to tell you um, the basic seasonings that I like to use when I'm making vegetable soup. Let me show you something else. When I went to the store today, they did. I wanted, I knew that I wanted cabbage in there. And guess what? They didn't have any. So look what I bought. A coleslaw mix, which has, well, green cabbage and shredded carrots. So that's what I'm using. I was not leaving that store without some form of cabbage to go in my soup. I love cabbage in um, vegetable soup. So this will be, you know, this will be fine because guess what? I don't have to chop it. And I'm okay with that. I'm gonna put some of the cabbage in there. I'm not worrying about those little carrots. They'll be fine. Cabbage like really works down, so that's enough. That's enough. Do you think that's enough? Let's see what's in there. There's carrots, potatoes. Um, and I'm also going to put some of the, let me show you, when it's just about done cooking, um, I like to add pasta to mine sometimes. Usually it's elbow macaroni, um, you know, anything like that, some of the smaller shells, um, anything I have on hand, but I thought this would be a nice little treat in it. Now, if you don't want to put any pasta in yours, you certainly don't have to. I feel like I'm missing something. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? I'm going to add a couple cups of water as well. I want this all the way to the top. Or mostly to the top. Let's see. You know what? We're going to add some more veggies. I told you I wasn't going to do it. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to add a couple bouillon cubes. And these are beef, of course. I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm not going to add any salt at this point, uh, you know, because my beef stock is salty. We'll test it later. I'm trying to find my um, onion flakes. I always like to put a couple um, bay leaves in it because I think it just makes it really super good. It adds an extra flavor to it. Um, I can't find my onion flakes. If I can't find my um, onion flakes, then we're just going to have to call this whole thing off. I cannot believe I can't find my minced onions. You know what? I'm going to add some onion powder just because I like it. Because um, this onions just, they're, the, the onions that I added is just going to add a, um, really a texture, not a um, onion flavor, so... Y'all already know how extra I am. Oh, that smells so good already. I'm going to tear this kitchen apart. Looking for my onion flakes. A little bit of um, garlic powder as well. Hey, why not, right? Now, all I'm going to do is put this um, 
my crock and my pot and I'm just gonna let it cook on high for about seven or eight hours just until it's nice and done. I swear I feel like I'm forgetting something. If I figure it out I'll let you know. Look at that. Now to make the strawberry poke cake um, you need to preheat Pray hate you need to pray hate your oven. You need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And what I'm using is um, just a super moist Betty Crocker white cake. And all you're going to do is make this cake um, according to the directions on the back of the box. Super easy. It's a refrigerator cake, so it uh, it's cold. It's a, it's a nice, refreshing, uh, you know summer dessert a nice cold icebox cake or they're called icebox cakes um, you know there's different terms that you can use for them i just call them delicious that's it three eggs again you're just following the back of your box super easy now i've just slightly sprayed um one of the aluminum pans that you um, can get from the store i love to use these things and right in the pan it goes now this um particular cake says to bake at 350 for 29 to 34 minutes now i don't know about all that you know it you really have to watch your ovens now my new uh, stove that i got my oven is a beast and i'm just gonna keep my eye on it i'm not gonna i you definitely don't want to over bake it so we're gonna bake this until it's um done till the center comes out of a with a toothpick or um, a butter knife lean and then we're gonna let it cool completely. But in the meantime, while this is baking, I'm gonna show you how to make the strawberry crunch. For the crunch, the strawberry crunch that goes on top, crumble, um, all you need is a pack of the golden Oreos. You're gonna need about four to five tablespoons of melted butter and a pack of the Jello mix. Let me show you the strawberry jello mix that's what you're going to use so if you want to use a food processor ugh, what is wrong with me today if you want to use a food processor to um, mash these up smash them you go right ahead but i'm just doing the old trusty way and put them in a nice big bag now if you're doing it this way you need to make sure that you get um, some of the air out of the bag or most of the air out of the bag or all the air out of the bag if you can Before you start beating on it because as you beat on it that bag is going to start expanding so you can use one or two things you can use a um, You know one of those or you can use a meat tenderizer. Either or do the trick make sure they're sealed you gotta make sure they're sealed Them up. It's easier if you do them a couple at a time. Um, it makes you get there um, a lot quicker than um, just trying to, you know, go full force and on all of them. I don't know why. It just it's just easier. Now you're just going to empty these out. Um, oh, they look pretty good into a bowl. Kind of have to wonder where all the cream went to, right? We're going to add another or one pack of the strawberry uh, jello. Strawberry jello. This is the uh, three ounce cup. You're not going to add any um, water to this. You're not going to pre mix it. You're just going to add it straight to your little um, pieces of cookie. Then you're gonna add about four to five tablespoons of melted butter. Look at that. And then you just mix everything well. Get every bit of those coated. Now what you're gonna do is um, you're going to bake these in the oven at 350 degrees for about seven minutes, seven to eight minutes. Just get them nice and toasty. If you have 
parchment paper. Go ahead and um, lay some parchment paper on your baking sheet. If you don't, just do what I did. I sprayed mine with a little bit of um, non-stick cooking spray. So I'm just going to add one of the small boxes of strawberry jello. It's um, three ounces to, I'm just going to put it in a measuring cup because it'll be easier to pour over my cake. And then I'm going to add a cup of, of very hot water to this so it can dissolve. And we're just going to stir that until it dissolves. And then what you're going to do with your cake is you're going to make holes in the top of your cake. Now, you don't want like super big holes or it's not going to be that pretty. I'm going to use a straw. You can use a straw and then you just poke holes down into the cake. dissolved you're just going to take it and pour it right over your cake try to make sure that you get it done into those holes I mean I know it's gonna to be tough but you can do it you can do it You want to make sure that it, um, you know, is nice and cold before you serve it. Before I serve this, I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to put some Cool Whip on top of it, spread it on top of it, and then I'm going to crumble my strawberry crumble on top of that. So it's going to be so good. It's been in the refrigerator for, gosh, probably about four hours to be honest with you. And then you just take your Cool Whip and just put it right on top. You know me, I'm always a day late and a dollar short. This is the next day. The um, the soup, the hamburger soup was absolutely amazing. The cake was phenomenal. The strawberry crunch was so simple and easy to make. I am like brainstorming many different um, varieties of this cake, variations of this cake that you can make. They are gonna be amazing. I'm probably gonna show you each and every one of them. Let me show you my soup and my cake. Look at that, how amazing does that look? So easy to make, so hearty, and so delicious. Look at my cake. Look at my cake. Let me tell you something. This soup is so good. It's so hearty, and it's just so full of all kinds of good veggies and just so full of flavor. Mmm. Man, so good. Mmm. So good, so good. And then a strawberry crunch turned out amazing. Mmm. I'm telling you, one minute. This is a perfect summer dessert. It is refreshing, it's light, and there are so many different ways that you can make this. You do not have to stick with the strawberry. You could do lemon, cherry, lime. These are amazing. I hope you give them a try soon. You know I love you guys very much. I appreciate you. Don't forget to click that join button. Help support your favorite creator. 
me. I love you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Take care. Yeah.